While this year wasn't as we all expected it to be, the news of Nick Diaz returning to MMA has undoubtedly made it better. According to his manager, Kevin Mubenga, the former Strike Force champion can potentially return to the cage in 2021. With that being said, here are five interesting facts you probably didn't know about the 37-year-old martial artist, Nick Diaz. Became a professional mixed martial artist at the age of 18. In 2001, right after his 18th birthday, Nick became a professional mixed martial arts fighter. He became a champion in his second professional fight, defeating Chris Little for the IFC Welterweight Championship in July 2002. He is also a professional boxer. Besides having talent in martial arts, Diaz is also a professional boxer and fights in the super middleweight weight class. In April 2005, he made his professional debut against Alfonso Rocha at the Radisson Hotel in Sacramento, California. The boxer was victorious after winning four rounds by unanimous decision. Diaz has an unusual boxing style. Diaz has an unusual boxing style for MMA. He relies upon volume, punching without full power, and occasionally adding in hard punches. Tabulated statistics from MMA fights have shown him attempting 181 strikes in one round, making it the highest number of strikes thrown that has ever been recorded. He is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. The 37-year-old Diaz is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Cesar Gracie. He is accomplished in both G and no G Jiu-Jitsu and has won the US Purple Belt Open in 2004 and a Pan American Brown Belt medium weight division title in 2005. He trash talks his opponents. One of the major things Diaz is known for is his trash talking to his opponents. To put pressure on his opponents, he uses endurance and pushes the pace of the fight. The boxer says that fighters are afraid of getting tired and 90% of the fights are mental. Which is your favorite Nick Diaz moment? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.